Hey everybody on YouTube. Today I thought I'd take another moment to do a follow-up on a, a three-quarter pneumatic machine, the Sony VP7020. Okay, let me uh, kind of walk you through this. This isn't actually a part two to this video. I posted a few days ago a video of me walking through all the replacements of the rubber parts, the belts, the guides, and setting up the alignment on the loading carriage and various things. Now that's an awful lot of work just by itself. The loading carriage was the biggest problem. But I want to point out something today so people will have an idea that, you know, if you have these three-quarter pneumatic machines or Betacam SP machines, trying to fix them yourself isn't always the best idea. First of all, it can be very expensive. And third, you know, you got to really be an electronics technician to understand how to repair these machines. Well, today I want to post a little video of one of the severe problems about the 7020 series and the 9600 series, which were almost exactly the same machine, but they also suffered from the same parts, and the, the parts were identical on these machines. So let me point out the biggest problem so you'll have an idea. Okay, the biggest problem with this 7020 and the 9600 machines is, all right, first of all, you got the Capistan uh, motor uh, drive, which I showed you in my first video. Those don't commonly go bad, but when they do go bad, it's because it's a combination of other factors that are not, that's not working correctly. The biggest problem about this machine is the motor drive. Okay, as you can see, I've got some pictures here of some brand new motor drives I have for these particular machines. These are very hard to get. They're very expensive, but this is some overstock I've had for a while. So if I get any VP7020 series or 9600 machines and people send them to me, 9 out of 10 times that motor is going to be bad. And I do have two or three motors in stock to fix those. So as you can see, these are the replacement motors for these. These motors go as high as $120 if you could even find them. I mean, I found one on eBay a few months ago and it was like $120, $125. I mean, they're very hard to get. There's not many of them around in stock anywhere. I mean, a lot of people have dumped all this stuff over the years. So these replacement parts from Sony, and plus you can't even get these from Sony. They are, it's a discontinued item. But I do have a few of these little motors in stock, brand new ones. So if I run across the problem like I did on this machine, I can fix the issue. Okay, as you can see, I've got the motor. And I'm just showing you the various locations where the motor installs, what it does. It connects to a belt, which connects to a pulley, which connects to the rubber tire, which is your clutch tire, that actually does your rewind, your fast forward, and controls your drag during your playback. It's a very important motor to this machine. If it's not working, the machine will start eating tapes or the tape will have too much tension and the tape will really start dragging and looking very funky on your playback. It's a really big issue and a very big problem on this machine because they're, these motors are not the greatest of quality and if you got, if you got a three-quarter pneumatic machine that's got a lot of hours or it's been used a ton of times uh, playbacking and transferring and has a lot of wear and tear, that motor is going to wear out sooner or later. Uh, it, it does not have uh, what you call quality control for lasting for a long period of time. They do go bad. So this motor controls your tension, your playback, your rewind, your fast forward, and when you're playing a tape, it keeps the tension slack on the machine. It's a very important motor uh, for the machine. It's very common on the 7020 and the 9600 series. And, you know, when you replace that belt, generally if the motor's bad, the motor has to be changed. I do have a few of these in stock. I just wanted to point this out. It's a very big issue with these machines. Also, another very big issue, which I also have came up with a very ingenious replacement for this problem. Okay, these are what you call the drag tension stop pads. What they do is control the tension on the spindles during fast forward play and all, the, and all that type of thing when you're engaging the mechanism. The problem with these is the pads wear out. They're felt little pads that, you know, they, they have a sticky back to them that keep the tension on the spindles during the mechanism during whatever function that you're using. I actually replace all the pads on these. You can't get these mechanisms. You don't really need to replace the whole mechanism. All you need to do is replace the pad. 
So in this picture, you'll see I have a roll of what you call special felt. It's got sticky adhesive to it. It's the right thickness. I cut out brand new squares of felt for these. I place them back on the little apertures and I replace the actual tension pads with brand new felt on these actual units. So basically, the felt replacement controls uh, the actual tension on the spindles. This stuff works fantastic. So this is another thing. When I service a machine, I, re I replace the tension felts on the machine to get the right drag and tension and keeping the tension on the spindle so the spindles don't loosen up and start eating tapes. It's a very, very important thing to replace the felt on these tension pads that control the spindles. So this is a solution I came up with. It's a fantastic solution and it works fantastic. But I wanted to point out these two major factors on the Umatic three-quarter machines, that 7020 and the 9600 series, it's a very big issue. I do have solutions for these problems and I do have several motors uh, in stock to replace and replace these motors to correct the issue. So if you have a 7020 or a 9600 series and it's eating tapes, I'll guarantee you this is probably one of the number one problems that you have with this machine. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.